staples and a bunch of tape I've been stuck here for a while And I'm slowly getting used to it But I can't help it if I start going insane It's Carrie and welcome to Jeju. I just got in this morning. It is around noon and we've made it to the Yongmori beach and we are inside because it is ridiculously windy right now. Um, so I can't talk to you <laughs> out there and I'm starting off my Jeju experience strong by having a hot tangerine tea. This is actually part of the Discover Korea Live 2021 event hosted by the Korea Tourism Organization and the Korea Tourism Organization New York office was nice enough to send me on this trip. Um, so I am excited to be taking you guys around. The Discover Korea Live event is a pretty much an online festival. It includes travel and music and food, everything you could want. Um, so it is a live event. So if you are watching this right now, um, it means that cool things are happening also. So check out the discoverkorealive.com. All the information will be down below. I will catch you guys outside in the wind. Jeju day one. <laughs> does not look real. Look at this. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> See, I'm not kidding. The wind is really strong. <laughs> so cool. Let's see if we can see stuff from up here. significantly less windy. Now we're really, really on the west side of the island and we are at the Xinchang Windmill Road and there are just, it's just a line all the way up the coast of these like wind turbines for clean energy, wind energy. It's amazing, they're huge. They're all out in the water, but there's a really cool bridge I think we can go out on. The ocean is so blue. Let's go see. can't tell I just cannot get over how clear this water is
So this is another place in Jeju where, by the sound of it, it's just a wind farm. I didn't think it was going to be that impressive. But last time I came to Jeju, um, same thing happened with the rock park. I was like, rocks? <laughs> but I came here and I am stunned and this is beautiful and I'm so glad that I came. It's, I've never really seen anything like it. It's quiet, it's peaceful, it smells amazing. There's so much nature. You can go out in glass boats and um, like see the bottom of the sea. It's just really, I'm impressed. How cool, yeah, I'm now in the shadow of one of them if you can't see the light show going on. <laughs> Definitely recommend, but we're gonna get back to the main area and then we're gonna head over to where I'm staying and we're gonna find some lunch and that area is more of a downtown area, very trendy with lots of like cafes and stuff and a beautiful beach. So hopefully we are in for another wonderful Jeju experience, let's go. <laughs> in it. That was so good. And you cafe, all vegan. Thank you. I am in such a good place. That meal was so good. So now I'm going to just check into my guest house quickly so that I can put my backpack down. Um, and then we're going to go to the Hyokje beach. We drove past it on the way to the cafe and it looks stunning and I'm kind of jealous because there's a huge camping area. Like you can just camp in a tent in this like pine tree forest right on the beach, which looks incredible. Anyway, we're going to head over there and um, then figure out where we're gonna catch the sunset. So, to the guest house. It's a casual walk through my neighborhood. Gotta love Jeju. <laughs> Oh, well, my friends don't care about everything as long as you got a story to bring. We'll take you Ooh, that water is take cold. You <laughs> take you along to some other places. We try towards the other horizon. Maybe to spend a couple hundred till. So, if you couldn't tell, Hyopte is beautiful and it's known for having like really white sand and really clear light water. Um, and I don't know if it's always like this, but the tide is so far out. And there's like little bits of water still kind of trapped up here. So you've got all these little tide pools and just like very shallow pockets of water, which is nice as someone who doesn't love getting in too deep to the ocean. Um, we're also in the flight path of Jeju Airport, so we get to see all the planes coming in. Let's go into the water. It is very cold, so I'm gonna... I rolled up my pants. Let's go see what it's all about. So I'm kind of standing on a tide island, I guess. Um, there is water behind me, behind me. So I've got, it's kind of like curling up here as the tide comes in. So this is beautiful, the like lightness of the blue. It's so pretty. I'm gonna kind of head back because I can see that the tide is rising and I'm not about that. So uh, let's go. Yeah, that tide came in real quick. I don't know if you can see, but uh, 
<laughs> Rolling had no effect. My pants are soaked. That's fine. This is the most fantastic beach I think I've ever been to. Why am I so taken away by this beach? I love it so much. There are so many really cool eateries that open straight up to the sand. So I'm so glad that I'm staying right next to it. Highly recommend it. It's, it's just gorgeous. I'm gonna let my pants dry and the sand dry off of my feet. And then we're going to go to a cafe and take in the sunset. Okay. my neck of the woods again that was a gorgeous sunset there's still some peachy stuff going on um i'm actually going to end today here because tomorrow we've got a lot of stuff to do as well so pretty we're actually going to a place that i have been to before but i didn't get a lot of time to explore it myself so um i'm actually going to take time to see it and i'm very excited to bring you along so yes i'm going to go home, make some tea, maybe go for another walk. But yeah, thank you for joining me. See you bright and early tomorrow. <laughs> Goodbye, sweet guest house. Okay, it is the morning. It is a much uh, cloudier day. And our first stop is a place that I love very much, but I didn't get to explore the one time that I visited it. Um, we're going to the Ocelok Tea Museum. You guys know how obsessed I am with tea. And if you don't, <laughs> I am. Um, and so we're gonna hopefully hop on a bus um, and head over there. Let's go. I'm really excited to explore it with you. Also, look, here we go. Okay friends, we have successfully made it to the Osalok Tea Museum in one piece. That bus ride was wild. And the road getting here, like the last five minutes is literally just like But anyway, we are here. It's about 11.15, I think. It looks pretty busy. This is pretty busy like year round. It doesn't matter how many people are here as long as I get my, my cup of tea. Okay, let's go.
So as tempted as I am by those desserts, I want to check out the Innisfree part of this place first before I settle because they also have really good desserts and it might be a little bit less crowded to the Innisfree Jeju house. Okay, so the Innisfree house definitely has the better view. Um, I'm looking over the green tea fields. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna head back over to the Osalok area and get me some green tea, okay? okay. that they have a make your own soap class. So I'm going to make my own soap. Here we go. <laughs> There's a feeling to around in the and all the say it's coming for me. There's the howling and the quiet, the stomping and the trumpet. Should I and I am so full. <laughs> so we have just enough time to make one more stop and it's a little bit in the middle of nowhere. I'm doing this all with public transportation and taxis. So fingers crossed that I know we can get there, but can we leave? Can I get to the airport afterwards? Is what we're interested in. <laughs> so um, yeah, this will be an adventure. Let's hit one more Odom. I'll tell you more about it when we get there. And um, yeah, this was the Osalok Tea Museum. That was, I'm a little nervous to say it because I know how people feel about hummus. That was one of the best hummuses I have had in Korea. I'm gonna say it. Um, it was delicious, so definitely please stop here. Even if you don't like tea, they have juices and all this great stuff. So anyway, thank you Osalok as always. Let's find a cab. Okay, so we are at the Body May Orem, and an Orem is like a crater, and there are tons of them all over Jeju. Um, but this one is rather tucked away, and um, I tried to walk through what I thought was a trail through the woods, and then I came across a dead animal part and I was just like you know I'm gonna walk on the paved path so um, we're walking hopefully towards like the main area and it looks like something straight out of what's it called midsummer <laughs> everybody's dressed in like cottagecore outfits and it's mildly terrifying um, but it's also gorgeous so let's go to the autumn a much better path <laughs> if this is exactly legal but it seems like the common path so here we go 
I stare at the moon from my house, envious of her and changing pace. This is stunning. Amazing. That there's nothing in a Korean forest that would eat me. I don't think there are tigers anymore. So now to find a taxi. <laughs> the airport um, and so that was my 36 hours in Jeju thank you so much for joining me that was so fun um, definitely love the west side of Jeju um, and so thank you again to the Korea tourism organization the New York office for inviting me um, and this was again part of the discover Korea live event um, so please go to discoverkorealive.com to see some more things. Um, I have another trip that I'm doing there. Like I said, there's food and culture and travel and music and all this other stuff all combined in this digital virtual festival. So highly recommend it. Thank you again for sending me and I will see you guys next time. So I hope you enjoyed Jeju. I hope I will be back soon. Let's fly back to Seoul. Bye!